Welcome to The Secret Cocktail. I'm your pusher, Victoria Randall, helping you create the CNA school of your dreams. Today's topic is gonna be, what supplies do I need to start my CNA school? Now, be sure to view this video in its entirety all the way to the end for your chance to win one of the most needed items on your supply list. Now, believe it or not, supplies for CNA schools are actually state specific. Why, you may ask? Well, that's because every state has different things that they require in terms of the skills that need to be completed, and every state has different ratios for student to instructor. So therefore, the amount of supplies you may need would be different as well. Many states actually provide an equipment list on their website, but sometimes it's very hard to find. So you got to get that application, dig a little deep, and then you may be able to find it there. If you do a deep dive on the state's website and you still can't find the application, then just email them. They'll let you know if one exists or not. If one doesn't exist and you are really in dire need of one, you can always reach out to The Secret Katsu. We are so willing to help. Just make a comment in the comment section below and we can get you that information. Now, if you really are in a crunch and you're trying to figure out what exactly you need and you can't find the state's equipment list, then you can just look on your skills checklist. The skills checklist tells you all the skills that the students need in order to become nurse aides. And that will give you a hint as to what actual equipment you're gonna need, right? So you can look at if oral care is required. Okay, well, they're definitely gonna need a toothbrush, they're gonna need an emesis basin, and they're gonna need toothpaste. It's kind of a no-brainer, but yes, this process could be time-consuming, I understand. So any way that we can help, just let me know. The next thing to consider with your supply list is, well, how many do you actually need of each object? So some of these things are a no brainer, like, hey, if you're gonna have 15 students, then you need to have 15 toothbrushes per class, right? But some things may not be so much of a no brainer. So another example would be washcloths, okay? You may think one student, one washcloth, eh, completely wrong. Think about the skills. If you're teaching a student how there are to bathe a patient, then you're gonna have to have multiple washcloths and just bathing alone. And then later on that day, maybe you're gonna teach them peri care. Well, that's another five washcloths, right? So the golden rule is per student, you should have at least five dry towels and 10 washcloths. I know this may sound like a lot of washcloths and a lot of dry towels when you got 20 students, but keep in mind the proper technique, right? We don't wanna teach our students to reuse soiled linens or going back into the dirty linen cart and reusing those. So just be prepared and do what you're supposed to do and have all of the equipment you need ahead of time. You really need to be conscious of your student to instructor ratio. So let me give you an example of this. In the state of Illinois, you have to have one bid per five students. So therefore, if you have a class of 20 students, then you're gonna have to have four bids, right? However, if you look at a state like Georgia, the student to instructor ratio is 14 to one. However, it doesn't matter how many bids you have as long as you have at least one. Now, do I encourage you to have one bid for 14 students? No, not necessarily. I think the golden rule would be at least have two bids, but just know that it's not a requirement. So it's important for you to know this about the larger items on your supply list because the more larger items you need, the more costly it's gonna be for your school, right? Also, a real quick tip about the bed, and this is actually one I usually say for my clients, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. There are two different bids you might consider for your school, so an electric and a crank bid. In some states, they don't care if you have a crank bid, and in some states, you can only have an electric one. So again, that's why it's so helpful to have a consultant like us here at The Secret Cocktail to help you through this process, because the last thing you want is to buy the wrong bid for a good, I don't care if it was $500. That's $500 of your money that could have went somewhere else. So you don't wanna buy the wrong bed or make any type of costly mistakes. We're here to save you from that. Now, another tip on purchasing supplies for your CNA school is to buy everything individually wrapped, especially post COVID world, right? So your soaps, your toothpaste, your toothbrushes, of course, maybe shaving cream, things like that. You wanna make sure you're buying them individually rather than a large item that would be shared amongst students. Next, I wanna talk about audio visual equipment. Now we know every student learns differently, 
With that being the case, you need to have different ways you're teaching. You can't just sit there and PowerPoint lecture all day, okay? We're beyond that. Students will zone out real quick. So you have to have different ways you're teaching to them. You can consider having a TV or a projector for audiovisual purposes because your students need to see what it is that you're trying to teach them. And again, PowerPoint alone will not do the job. Now, since we're on the topic of videos, we have partnered with a company called Facets Healthcare Training. I absolutely love their videos. They are state specific, meaning they adhere to the basic requirements for your state, because believe it or not, how you put a patient on a bed pan in Arizona versus how you put a patient on a bed pan in Florida is completely different, <laughs> yes crazy, but it's different. So it's good to have state specific videos that give them step-by-step -step instructions to help them pass the test in their state. So if you're interested in learning more about FACET's healthcare training, please see the link in the description box below and tell them that the secret cocktail sent you. Last but not least, let's talk about the mannequin. Now, you will need a mannequin for your program. However, I don't know that there is a regulation out there anywhere that I've seen that says exactly how many you have to have. Rule of thumb, at least have one, okay? Now your mannequin has to meet certain standards and each standard may be different per state, so please reach out to your state to see what those standards are. But I can tell you now, the bare minimum standard across the board is going to be that they have to have interchangeable genitals. So if you find a mannequin out there that someone is giving to you or selling to you used, make sure you have parts that are detachable and that will actually fit. I've seen people get equipment that did not fit. You don't want that. That's another little freebie tip that you're getting in on today. I think that's enough for that, but I do have some great news for you. Speaking of mannequins, have you been looking for a mannequin? Have you not yet acquired one? If so, then you happen to be watching the right video at the right time time because guess what one lucky person will win a new mannequin how do you enter to win you ask listen now you must complete the following before january 31st you must comment below what part of this video was most helpful to you you must share this video on all your social media platforms with the hashtag the secret cocktail and a message in the post to let people know why you're posting this subscribe to our channel you must email us proof of your subscription to this channel. You can email it to Eunice at thesecretcocktail.com with the subject stating mannequin contest. A screenshot is fine. Please include your state and a phone number so that we can contact you if need be. Last but not least, this YouTube station has given you a lot of great information. So take a moment and provide us a review on our Facebook page to let people know how you have been helped. Use the link in the description box below. Now, you must complete all four of these steps in order to qualify to get this mannequin. Now, you must enter no later than December 30th in order to qualify. Good luck to you. Trust me, this is huge. You don't want to miss it. That's it. Those are the basic items I really want you to consider for your supply list. But once again, don't forget to enter into the contest to win. I'm Victoria Randall with The Secret Cocktail. Thank you so much for joining. The Secret Cocktail is the nation's premier healthcare training school consulting firm. We save you time and money while assuring your CNA school program will be approved with ease. Our staff includes well-seasoned nurses who all have operated healthcare training programs and written curriculums as well. Feel free to contact us at info at thesecretcocktail.com if you want help getting your school started today. Again, I am Victoria Randall, your pusher, helping you get it done right the first time.